Um, hi, my name is Lucy Stonehill. I'm the co-founder and CEO of BridgeU. And before I tell you um, about what BridgeU does, I want to touch on sort of some of the macro trends that kind of have influenced um, the business in its initial conception and continue to influence how we build out the product and how we're solving uh, the problems that we're solving. Um, so there's sort of three trends I'd like to talk about. Um, the first really relates to uh, the sort of proliferation of demand for higher education. So in 1970, there were 30 million people enrolled in higher education. Um, currently, there's about 160 million enrolled in higher education, and that number is due to be 260 million in the next 10 years. Um, so really kind of demonstrating the sort of what, what we think of as the sort of massification of higher education. Uh, and what's kind of shocking about this is obviously when you apply those numbers to the supply of higher education, like literal spots available. And um, in order to actually meet demand with the current model, we'd have to create two new universities per day for the next 30 years. So some interesting challenges there for the broader kind of global higher ed uh, landscape, but certainly um, something that we think about quite a lot. The second trend is one that you'll all be familiar with, um, and that is uh, this sort of the increase uh, uh, of, of sort of expenditure within the four and a half trillion dollar education industry uh, and sort of the, the penetration of digital and, and sort of what that means. So currently about three percent of that spend is is actually focused on digital products and services. Um, again, in the next 10 years, that's due to grow to about 43%. Um, and certainly a lot of that will be spent in a kind of institutional context, which, which relates to us. And then the final trend um, is, is really one that, that I think we're continuing to sort of think about internally, and it really relates to the pace of development um, across global labor markets. And there's kind of one stat um, that I'll give, which I think is, is sort of pretty staggering, and that is that with students who are primary and secondary age uh, students in, in schools today, 65% of them will be in jobs or in roles in the next sort of decade or so for which we do not yet have a kind of language and vernacular. Um, so, so all of these, these trends have sort of shaped Bridgeu um, as the business that is trying to um, yield a level of data science and predictability to higher education and early career decision making. Um, what we've built as our solution is a careers guidance as a service platform, which we license to secondary schools in an enterprise um, capacity. So I'll walk you through um, some of the sort of, uh, sort of highlights of the product and some of the value propositions for our kind of core users before talking a little bit about our market and then our team. Um, so if you are a sort of teacher or a member of faculty using Bridgeview, um, your entire university preparation and careers guidance process lives on Bridgeview. Uh, that means you can design um, applicant tracks. Um, so obviously the experience for students thinking about their future is quite different if you're 14 than if you're 17. Uh, and similarly, as it relates to a lot of our schools, it's very different if you're applying to universities in, in sort of North America uh, compared to if you're applying to universities, let's say, in, in kind of Hong Kong and South Korea. And so on Bridgeview, you can kind of customize and adapt the program to meet your unique needs as a school. Um, we have a range of, of tools that enable you to kind of manage uh, various uh, users who are part of the process. Teachers can collaborate on references uh, within the platform. And then we collate through smart uh, sort of checklists all the, the required actions for the various teachers who are involved in the process. And ultimately, um, they can actually populate uh, documents and send them off uh, directly via BridgeU to submit applications uh, to universities currently in about six different countries. Um, one of the things we're starting to realize is actually how powerful some of the, the insights and the dashboards and the reporting um, that we populate within our platform is for senior leaders within the school. Um, they can showcase year-on-year uh, -year destinations performance, um, which enables them to then understand sort of how they're performing in this kind of crucial aspect of, of the wider um, performance ecosystem of the school. And it also enables them sort of insight into their own process. How can we better support students in some cases um, in, in achieving their higher education? education kind of goals and outcomes. And schools utilize this as a way of also uh, ensuring that they are uh, meeting inspections and all kinds of um, requirements as per the governmental bodies they, they respond to. And then finally, last but uh, not least, um, students derive you know, pretty immense value from Bridgeview. So in the early uh, sort of years of using Bridgeview, it's, uh, it's, it sort of feels a little bit like a LinkedIn junior experience where kids are learning how to kind of build out that brand and understand how to communicate their strengths as individuals, which will ultimately become sort of their strengths as applicants. Um, so that's a pretty kind of crucial element of the early, early part of the platform. And then what we actually do is we do a pretty unique thing in the market, and that is that we, uh, we don't initially enable students to 
search for opportunities instead. We match them algorithmically um, with a range of universities and courses which are best fit for them based on 50 different data points. Um, and there's a whole sort of science around how we, how we do that, which I'm happy to talk to anyone about afterwards. Um, there's a range of builder tools within BridgeU to support the sort of workflow optimization elements um, of, the, of the process for students as well. And then finally, and I'll touch, wow, time is running out very quickly. Um, and then finally, there's our kind of careers planner. And this is, I want to touch on this actually, because uh, we've actually announced recently a partnership with Burning Glass, which is a leader in labor market um, sort of analytics and data. And what we've built around that is a tool for students to actually contextualize in real time um, how, their how the choices they're making within school and then looking to make um, as far as uh, decisions around higher education will, be, will influence their, their professional opportunities. Again, really in real time, this data is updated on a, on a sort of daily basis. We um, are an international business, uh, so we have quite a large market size of, of several hundred thousand secondary schools. Um, and we have spent the last couple of years, oops, that, that previous slide was showing a lot of our existing customers, but we've actually scaled our business, <laughs> there we go, to servicing um, secondary schools in about 48 different countries, um, which has been really powerful for us to kind of build out the, the kind of use case for scale with BridgeU. I have an incredible team. Uh, there's about 35 of us split between offices in London and Hong Kong. Um, we've raised to date about $3.5 million um, in venture capital. We're looking to close a Series A in the next couple of months. And that's from a range of, of pretty awesome investors, including uh, Deborah and GSV, um, who you're all familiar with. There's a number of ways I think we'll continue uh, to think about growth. Um, some of that will be to do with optimization internally and thinking about ways that we can optimize our, our payment model um, to be appropriate for a kind of wider array of, of different types of schools who make different um, decisions and have different kind of uh, budgeting flexibility. And then the other way that we'll continue growing is by localizing our existing product and uh, to be better servicing the local markets whilst continuing to focus on international expansion. Thank you.